the Cannons and Tomahawks podcast, presented by Belly Up Sports. All things hockey, all the time. And now, here are your hosts, two washed up beer leaguers who have no idea what they're talking about, Zach Martin and Alex Nuttle. What's going on, everybody? It is the special edition episode of the Cannons and Tomahawks podcast. Today, we are doing the best NHL jerseys ranking from 32 to numero uno. As always, got my buddy Zach with me, and we're going to break it down. Zach, how you doing, brother? Doing good, man. Really excited to talk some uh, NHL jerseys and see where we rank them. It's going to be it's going to be a fun time. There's going to be some controversial picks, but you know, and some good ones that kind of make sense. But I'm excited to be doing this, man. Let's uh, let's just get into it and just yeah. Bring some jerseys. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, before we get going, obviously, guys, this is Kansas Tomahawks podcast brought to you by Belly Up Sports and sponsored by the rad people over at Spy Optic and Pure Hockey. Go get their stuff. Click our link tree. It's in our bio on Twitter. And let's get going. Why not? Let's get it going. All right. Let me pull this up. All right. Three, two. All right, so we got our best NHL jerseys ranking again, brought to you by Belly Up Sports. Let's get going. So the first episode we got today, we are going to be going through jersey number 32 all the way up through 21. And we also are going to have a couple of honorable mentions in there as well. And I think we got some pretty good ones. So you'll have to wait and find out what those are at the end of the episode. But we'll go ahead and start with jersey number 32. Zach, why don't you go ahead and explain your pick for me, buddy? Well, my pick is more of a combination of bias because I'm a Blackhawks fan, and two, because let's be honest, the blue jerseys are just absolutely atrocious. I mean, the two different types of blue, it's just it's all over the place, and just the font style is just so off. I don't know. I just like I said, but it's a little bit of a bias, but also it's just for whatever reason, like these jerseys just never look good to yeah. my in my opinion. So I see you uh picked your team. Yeah, give us a reason why you picked Nashville. As yours? Oh, it looks like the guys just swam through a bubble bath of Dijon mustard. I it's <laughs> the the, I, the color doesn't look good, and I think honestly, to me, it's just boring. It's a logo, and you have some shoulder patches. I mean, obviously, they have the blue at the bottom of the jersey, but with the, you know, you look at the picture, the blue at the bottom or on the pants, it blends in, so it really doesn't in my opinion it just doesn't look good at all i think it's terrible yeah but, for the yeah and for the fact they also added like the blue at the bottom of the sleeves too like out of the, at the bottom of the jersey it's just it looks like it's just one whole thing and then they just added a whole bunch of blue everywhere else so i mean yeah off to a great start with the st louis blues and national predators as our <laughs> as our number 32 oh yeah definitely definitely tells you how uh how no love the the central division gets you know the the normal quote-unquote Western Conference Central Division with automatically two teams at the very bottom of the Jersey ranks. <laughs> of course. Of course. All right. Moving on to number 31. I picked the San Jose Sharks. The one thing I do like, I will say, is I like the color. The teal is kind of nice. But mm -hmm. again, the jersey is just, to me, it's a little bland. I mean, there's not much going on. They don't have any of the extra striping or any of the piping up the sleeves or anything like that. It's just kind of a generic hockey jersey you throw a logo on the middle two shoulder pad or shoulder patches up and then you'll throw like a stripe or two on the elbow and call it a day um yeah it's it's yeah. a it's a it's a very like even the collar is basic too like you really don't see any collar like you have a little bit of the black but it blends in with the inside of the jersey it looks like it's not really there so yeah there's and all they did was like throw strings on the front of it like yeah. i'm not really in th like I'm not enthused by this jersey at all. I have I have them ranked a little bit different, but yeah, I, taking a more approach on looking at this more clearly. Yeah, it's kind of just like merit whatever. But mm -hmm. so I picked the Winnipeg Jets. Um, like you said, man, it's just another basic jersey with you know just they did some collar, you know, did some sleeve work where it's like 
color a couple bands on the sleeves and then at the very bottom of the jersey but at least it breaks up a little bit with like the light blue white light blue into the dark pants but just another basic jersey that's just a lot of one color and a couple side sleeves yeah you know on the elbow that's really about it it's nothing too crazy yeah and again guys we're doing this based off of the 2020 2021 home jerseys some of the pictures might be off if you're watching this on our youtube version um, but just understand it's a current home jerseys that they're using this year. Um, moving on to number 30, Zach, you got a pretty different pick than I do. Yeah, I actually went with the Buffalo Sabres. Um, I just never loved the blue and yellow for them. I'm, I, I'm like, I just love the old, like when they had like the black, red and silver and the Buffalo head, I thought those were the best jerseys they've ever had. And for them to go back to the yellow and blue again, had like that weird, buffalo slug logo and then they went back to these old ones which for whatever reason for some reason like this team is just bad with these color combinations like they're not just not good but looking at it it's just another team with like there's there's not even shoulder patches on these jerseys to begin with either like the shoulders are bare it's just numbers on the sides and it's got like a triple like like line across the elbow and at the bottom and that's really about it yeah. Like it's like if you look at this thing, like there's no there's nothing on the collar either. The collar is plain. Yeah. It's, I, it's, I know it, that it, was it, their it, I know that was their New Jersey they added this year. And it's it's, it's okay. It's, so, it's so basic. There's like nothing to it. There's like outside of the elbow like piping and the bottom of the jersey. There's really nothing to look at on this thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, kind of in the same boat. So I picked the St. Louis Blues at my number 30. And a lot of it, you know, for me on a hockey sweater, I like being able to see shoulder patches. And no matter what they are, even at whether it's your regular logo, an alternate logo or anything like that, I like mm-hmm. being able to see that. But I think the one thing with me is the the coloring, the like royal blue and then the navy blue just don't for, – for me, they don't work – well together at all yeah you know you have that and then the yellow accent piping around it um and then the random white stripes like it, i, I get yeah. what they're going for you know the logo is its own thing and it's just looking at this home sweater that they have i don't enjoy it i think it is just another boring basic jersey yeah like the, like that like that white into yellow like if you look at the shoulder like going up to the shoulders like that white into yellow for whatever reason, like for me, I can it just hurts my eyes and seeing a yellow and a white right next to each other like that. At least on the sleeve, they have that small little like pipe of like light blue yep. in between it to give it a little bit of a break. But when you have it, like right next to each other, for whatever reason, it really hurts looking at it, in my opinion. So yeah, like white on yellow that close together is just it never works. It just never works. Yeah. They're yeah. Just, I, they're just too light of cl- colors, in my opinion. No, I totally agree. Moving on to 29, I have the Los Angeles Kings. Uh, for me, looking at the jersey, it is just basic. I mean, there is silver piping on the shoulders, and they have their LA logo in the middle that has the five different sides. Other than that, that's about it. It's not a very appealing jersey, in my opinion. You have mm. Nothing against the Kings or anything like that. And honestly, Jonathan quick, I love Jonathan quick. He's probably one of my favorite goalies, but their jerseys are just blech, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, they, they, I know they did the reverse retros where they brought the yellow and purple back, but I think the one like the Kings jerseys that when they had like, like Robitaille and, you know, growing grass, like those ones with like the, like the shield in the front of the, like in the middle and stuff like that with the, I think those Kings jerseys are probably the best ones, but I don't mind the, I don't mind these Kings jerseys. I have them way. I have them in a completely different spot from you, but I, I get what you're saying with just like how it, how it looks. And plus like no, you know, the shoulder patches, there's none there. So, yeah, I mean, and the, whatever reason like that, like the big block, you know, coloring on the elbow where it's like silver on white and the white's like super huge in the silver. I can see what you mean. Like that's kind of just like, that's odd looking to see, but yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I have them a lot. I have them closer to like farther up than wh- where you have them, but I have the Anaheim ducks and I'm sorry. Like I know, I know the, the D is a webbed foot and stuff like that, but it's just the, I don't know. They just don't, they, I've never, they've just never done it for me. Like the, like the inside, uh, like on the torso, like how they have like that, like hoop looking thing, or it's like, I don't know how they, it's just so weird. Like the orange and stuff like that. And 
it's okay. I mean, it's whatever. It's not something that's like it wows me. And of course, you know, you're, this is a team that moved on from like like the Mighty Ducks jersey, which is like probably one of the best jerseys out there yeah. and logos. It's just when you go from that to this orange and black and like this beige looking combo, it just it doesn't work. For yeah, me. and in my opinion, if you have a jersey that features the OG Mighty Ducks logo and you move on from that, you should have to sell your franchise because you Fact. have one of the best logos in sports history and you move on from it. it makes no sense. None. Yeah, to the to a to a duck foot. And it's like the the eggplant and the teal perfect combination. Those jerseys were absolutely nice. And I don't know why they moved on to these ones. It's it's just blah to me. It's just bland. Yeah. No idea. So moving on to 28, I picked the Florida Panthers. And honestly, like I don't the jersey itself is fine. Like the numbers on the top of the shoulders is like that. I think that's unique. It's different. And it works. And having the Florida State flag on the like on the like on the arms is fine. And if they made like the white a little bit smaller, because I think the white in the middle of like that three layered coloring is just a little off. It's just too much because you see that like that gold trim on the top and bottom. I think it's too it's too small compared to that massive block of white. Yeah. If you made the white a little bit smaller and, and expanded the gold, I think that would look a lot better. And the shield is okay. I don't mind this, the like the Panthers logo, but I kind of think of like if they had these jerseys with the jumping Panther, like the original jumping Panther with, without the stick. I think that I think that's a top five jersey. But like I said, the logo is okay. I guess it's just the it's just all that white yeah. and that little gold really throws it off for me. Other yeah. than that, I mean, I like the number placement and the flag. It's just that yeah. it's just it's too much block white in the middle of the jersey. In my yeah, opinion. the one thing with their jerseys I do like is I like the font of the numbering. It is one oh, thing. Yeah. It's I think it was done pretty well and it's somewhat appealing to the eye. Yeah. Um, so it's coming different. in at twenty eight, I actually have the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, long story short, their jersey is lame. They haven't changed it in four hundred and seventeen years. They've <laughs> maybe added one little tiny line to their logo every 10 years, which again, you know, that's one of the situations where an original six team just never changes their logo at all. And there's, it's just the the logo aside, the logo, I mean, they don't do much, which you look at Toronto, Toronto is a staple for hockey. Mm -hmm. There's no denying that, but their jerseys are just bland. I mean, it's blue and white. And there's just some white stripes. I, I get it. It's the color scheme for the team. But to me, it's it's boring. I mean, just like their reverse retros. Their reverse retros are absolutely ridiculous. I think they look horrendous. But the they're, the Maple Leafs home jerseys, I think, are subpar, man. I think I like the, I think the logo is fine. I mean, the, I mean, the, with the original six teams, like if the logo has been around and it's been you know widely loved, logo is. I think you don't. Really, I don't think you need to mess with the logo too much. I think with the jerseys, though, I think they could have done a little bit more than just having adding two white stripes on the elbows and then that stripe at the bottom, yeah. and that's it. And the white collar, like I know we're going we're gonna to be talking about shoulder patches a lot. So if you don't, if you get annoyed with us saying shoulder patches all the time, get ready for this because we're gonna be doing a lot of talks about those. Like, I think just adding two white stripes on the elbows and the bottom. It's like it's too basic. Like if they if they did a little bit more design on the work of the jerseys with the white, I think it'd be I think it'd be a better jersey. I mean, I the logo is fine. I don't have any problem with the logo. You yeah. don't really have to change it, you know, coming from you know, of course I'm an original six hockey team fan, you know, but I think they could have done a lot more with this jersey. The logo is fine. It's just you gotta fix it a little bit better with more work on adding different lines and different stuff to it, in my mm-hmm. opinion. Yeah, it's coming in at 27. I have the Detroit Red Wings. It's a red jersey with the logo in the middle and two stripes on the elbows and one at the bottom of the sweater. That's it. No shoulder patches, no other patches, no nothing. It's just a basic jersey. The, The reason I have them at 27 and not 32 is, I mean, I grew up liking the Red Wings. You know, I live in Columbus, so I like the Red Wings. And one thing I... Still like the Red Wings. I just think their jerseys are super boring and super lame. It's yeah. just one of those things that 
that logo, just like the Maple Leafs, as we were just talking about, that logo is iconic in hockey. And yeah. it kind of gives it a little bit of a boost. But mm. as for jersey design, it is lame. Yeah. I think because you know a lot of like you know, a lot of its Blackhawks fans don't like the Red Wings. You know, it's it is what it is. It's a big rivalry. I, for me, it's like I think it's just because the fact of the prestige of what the you know as another original six team, I kind of give them a little bit of a boost just on that. Like I give them a boost on that, so I have them in a completely different spot from where you have it. But I agree. Looking at it, it's just kind of whatever. Um, I think it's just because of the the fact of you know it's so iconic. I think that's why I gave them a little bit more of a boost where I have them compared to you. And I have the Dallas Stars at twenty seven. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, what? Why? What's wrong with Dallas? I don't know. It's just for me. It's just the it's the it's the green um it's the, the green's all right it's just it's another jersey where it's a lot of just striping on the elbows they did a little bit better work on the collar they did make it kind of like a two-tone with like the white around the around the around it and then the black where the logo's at for also just i don't know the logo the logo for me is just off i don't know dallas could never figure out how to make a good logo in my opinion like now- I, I will say that on if you look at the picture of this on his uh, the picture of Jamie Ben on his pants, I do like that logo they have. It's the typical no. Dallas Stars logo inside the outline of Texas. That now that was the main logo on this. I think it'd be a little bit better. It just having the basic D on the star. It's kind of like whatever. That's just another Dallas Stars type thing with the, with the older jerseys where it was just the star and it said stars above the above it or it said Dallas above it. Like if they did the Texas like outline with the D in the middle, I think that'd be a lot better. But for me, it's just like it's it's just the fact that like the striping is okay. It's another triple stripe, two different colors. It's just the logo on this jersey just throws it off completely for me. Yeah. So I have Nashville at 26. Same thing like you. It's kind of just basic. It's yellow. You know, it's kind of blah. This, you know, the bottom of the jersey and the bottom of the sleeves basically kind of running together. The letter, the numbering is okay. It's still odd. It's just the whole thing is just weird. It's too yellow for me. It just doesn't work. So basically the same thing, like you said. I I just have them a little bit lower than you do. Like I have them at twenty six compared to your thirty one. So not that, not too far off with that for us. Yeah, and twenty six. I've got the Anaheim Ducks. Pretty much the same thing, like you said. It's it looks a little corporate, if that makes any sense. It looks mm-hmm. a little too professional compared to what they had before. And I don't know how I like that. I mean, the color scheme, the black and orange and white, I actually dig it. You could it's do different. a lot with that. Um, yeah, you, it's, just, it's just that design on the inside of the body. It's like, why that design? It's just, if they, did, if, they did, if they did a little bit more with it besides this, like this hoop thing, so much better, but the inside, the inside design is just off for me. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, it's, it's an okay Jersey. It's not great by any means, in my opinion, hence why it's at 26. Yeah. So moving on to 25. I have the Vancouver Canucks. Um, biggest reason is they are still using the Canucks logo. I mean, they have the new or the old school logo, uh, that's on their shoulder patch. I really wish they would start rocking that again, but it's it's one of those things that I think the jersey is okay. The biggest thing for me, the blue and green just don't make sense. Honestly, it's you know yeah. a dark blue and a like olive drab green. It just they don't really work together, and it's it's not like it's a half and half. There's probably twenty percent, maybe fifteen percent green on the entire jersey, and it just looks off. It doesn't look terrible, but just something isn't right. It's like it's like a sea of blue with like a little bit of green. Like it's almost like sea, like land and sea. And it's just honestly like the 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 remember the retros that they threw back. What was it last year, or the year before the when they brought back the old school black, mm-hmm. red, and yellow? Those were the best jerseys. That's when you had Palvo Bure. That's when you had you know Linden and all those guys. Go back to the black, yellow, and red. Those were the best jerseys in my opinion. Not the one with the big V that everyone talks about, but the one where it's like that flying skate. Mm-hmm. Those ones were the best, or even to have like the what like the Canuck C, like they have with the the Orca, have that because they had that because that's what they did with their their new like their kind of updated retro throwbacks where they had the Orca in the colors of the black, yellow, and red. Yeah, do that perfect jersey. That that's an on Mac top five 
yeah. if you did it with those colors in that design. If it was like this, but in those colors, different placement in my opinion. Yeah, I could even see them getting that the C with the orca and throwing it on the shoulders and using that as a shoulder patch and then doing the flying skate or something in the as their primary logo. That, that yeah. this would not be sitting at 25. No, but. it would it would almost be top 3 in my opinion. That would be that would be a top 3 jersey, no mm-hmm. doubt. So for 25 I have the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. To me like the main logo is it's just straight boring on this jersey because it's another blue it's another blue and white jersey and there's like no it's just a white bolt with a white circle around it. Like if you look at the patches, there's a lot more work on. It. You got Tampa Bay, you got a lot more other stuff going on with the shoulder patch. The main logo is just boring to me. It's just like someone threw a lightning bolt on it and it drew a circle and that's that's it. That's all you've done to this jersey. Yeah. And it's just the, a big it's just a big block of white on the on the sleeves. Yeah, the logo had a little more detail in it like in when they won the Stanley Cup in 2004 with like Marty St. Oh, Louis and when, one, so the, the, the black, well, it was like the black jersey, but like the, it had like the blue, yeah. and like the gray in it. And like the, like the, like the numbers, like the, if you look at the numbers on these jerseys, plain double blocked numbers, it's boring. Those ones that had some character to them. Yeah. This is just a boring looking jersey with no, there's no character to this. It's just someone threw on some letters that they found at their old college dorm and throw on a lightning bolt, and that's about it. That's all they've really done to this jersey. Yeah. Oh, I absolutely agree. So for 24, I picked the Philadelphia Flyers, and it's just for me, it is way too much orange. And just for the fact that it's just they slapped on white on this jersey with no, like, maybe like a black. If they threw like a black outline around the white, where they, you know, going from the collar down to like the elbows, like down the sleeves. If they just threw on a little bit of a black accent on this white, like instead of going from straight orange to straight white, mm-hmm. if they just yeah. added a little bit of black, it would have been a lot better. And the, like the orange numbers with the black numbering around it, I I kind of see why. I know they were trying to have like a white lettering around the numbers, you know, like like an orange on white, but it's just this white to straight orange just doesn't work for me. Yeah, no, I could I could see. So like if. If you're looking at the the numbers on his his shoulders, get that that black piping and put that between the blue or the the blue uh, the orange and white, mm-hmm. and yeah, that would absolutely make it look better. Now, top ten, top five, no, but it would improve the overall look of their jersey, in my opinion. Yeah, it's just it's just how the how the white sleeve goes into the collar, and, but then it's just like how the rest of the jersey is orange. You go from a bright orange to bright white with no break up at all it's just it just doesn't work for me yeah i I, and honestly looking at it i think if they had some shoulder patches that might help break it up just a little bit too because they they don't have anything yeah it's it's just it's just the from the going from the collar down to the sleeves all the way down it's just there's no there's not enough breakup it's just it's too over it's too together and there's not enough accents to this jersey like the the logo is fine i mean the logo is great it's just the how the sleeves are designed. There's just no breakage and design to it. There's no added bonus to this thing. Yeah. It's just, boom. Let's just slap on a white. <laughs> like, they, they took a, like they took a paintbrush and just drew it right down the jersey. It's just a happy little accident. It's fine. So I'm not, I'm not happy about this accident. <laughs> <laughs> so for 24, I have the Washington Capitals. They have a decent jersey to me, but it, Unlike the Flyers, it seems like this jersey has a little too much going on. You know, you have the white piping, uh, there are the white stripe going down the inside of the sleeve, and then the black piping, and then you have the logo with the stars, and then you have the black piping on the bottom, and you have the black piping going around the bottom of the jersey, and it, it just seems like it's a little too much. Um, it's, it's too busy. Yeah, it, it's it's very busy. I think if the, those white stripes on the sleeves were a little bit thinner maybe cut the size by half Mm -hmm. it would or match the size of those black stripes i think it would look a lot better and a lot cleaner but it just seems like it's too it see the jersey just seems bulky to me it seems like there's a lot going on yeah too much white i i like i think the old the like how they have like their retros now with it's the it's the screaming eagle but it has that design but it's in these colors if they went back to the old school colors that they had when Ovi got drafted 
perfect jersey. I don't, I don't know why they left those ones. Those ones were great, in my opinion. Yeah. I don't know. Why, I know they were trying to go to the US, uh, USA theme because they're in DC, but those ones where they got OV, I think, and when they had Colzing, those were perfect jerseys. I don't know why they messed with those. Yeah. But no idea. I, I agree with you. Like, if they did the white a little bit better, I think yeah. it'd be a better spot. So at 23, I have the Edmonton Oilers. Um, the jerseys are okay. I mean, I think they're a little bit better than some of the other ones, but still, it just seems a little boring. There's no shoulder patches. You know, you have the blue strip up on the shoulders, which is fine. That looks okay. Mm -hmm. And with the orange, but it just seems like, you know, with the logo, it seems like there's, it's, it seems a little lazy to me. It seems like they were making a jersey with a really good design, and then they're just like, oh, crap, I forgot that my homework's due tomorrow. Let me just throw this logo right in the middle and call it a day. Okay, well, yeah, it's just, it seems like the Oilers never, I think the one where you had like the, like the, like the, like the mechanism piece with the oil drop, I think those ones were really, I know a lot of people don't like those ones. If they worked on those a little bit better, I think those would be perfect jerseys. Yeah. Honestly, though, if you really ask any inventory, I mean, we can probably ask Ethan, our buddy of ours who joined us on another episode. He might even agree. I'm not sure, but it just seems like the Oilers, for whatever reason, have never landed on a solid, a solid jersey or a solid logo for them. I mean, Wayne Gretzky era, maybe, but I, with these ones, I agree with you. It's just it looks like it's just a through. It's it's like an almost like a created team for franchise <laughs> mode on NHL 21, and you're like, I don't want to. I want to spend like an hour trying to build these things. I'm going to slap a logo and just through, do some different colors and yeah move on so i get what you're saying so for me i actually have vancouver at 23 um i kind of like the blue on green i have no problem with it um i think it's fine i think if you did a little bit something different in terms of maybe a little bit more shoulder work i guess i mean i don't, I don't have any problem with these jerseys it's just i kind of like the old school black red and yellow in my opinion i think that's a i think that's way better um Overall, I mean, I don't, I don't mind these jerseys. They're they're okay. I, I I like the color, but would I say that they're probably a top twenty jersey? No, I mean, they could do a little bit better work, but I don't have them where you're at. So yeah, yeah. So I, so twenty two. I have you know Washington Capitals. It's basically the same thing you said. It's too too bulky. Too it's too busy, and it's just weird. Like how they have the, they have the they have the random white in that on the sleeve on the inside of the sleeve, and that's absolutely it. And it's just too it's too blocky if they short if they made it a little bit smaller i think that i think there'd be better jerseys yeah. like i said like we said go back to the ov colzig ones mint washington yep. jerseys now for 22 i have the calgary flames now i know you and i are you Ooh, and i are way very, very, very different um <laughs> yeah. i like the logo i like the color scheme they have it's just mm-hmm. again no shoulder patch the colors are okay with each other but it, the jersey just looks again it looks like it was lazily put together you know okay we're going to throw the logo in the middle and then we're going to put the yellow and white stripes at the bottom of the sleeve and at the bottom of the sweater and that's it i think i, I get what you're saying but i think for me it's the fact that they're going back to the throwback 80s design because that's what you were rolling with when you had you know theo flurry you know mcdonald all those guys the stanley cup team in 89 I think that's kind of why they want to go back to their roots. And I love these jerseys. I think they're fantastic. I mean, like I said, I, I have them in a completely different spot than you. I get what you're saying, how it's just like it's just one color, throw some stripes on, throw a logo on. But for me, it's just like the, just the like the nostalgia of what they're what they were going for with the throwback look like they did, making them their homes. I I, I give a little bit more prestige of that, but yeah, I get what you're saying, but yeah, we have drastically different spots for our, yeah. for our jersey picks. <laughs> so moving on to number 21, I have the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, as mm-hmm. we talked about before, it just is uh, – it's a boring jersey. I mean, it's just a, the solid blue jersey with the Lightning logo. And the logo is okay. Again, I would prefer them to go back to an older logo or have – for example, the one they have on their shoulder patch as their primary logo. Exactly. Switch them. It would look a little bit better, but it just, it, there's, it's blue and white and that's it. A lot of other teams have multiple colors at, you know, 
three most of the time and they can do some accent piping or anything like that even if they had black piping going around the numbers and the stripes and the logo that would look a little bit better but overall i think it's just a mediocre jersey right yeah the pack yeah it's just in the plus like if you look at the numbers it's white the big white a little bit of a small accent and then another thing of white. It's just the numbering. The numbering is so off to me. It's so bad. Yeah. And it, like if we're if we're going by the entire look of the jersey, then the, the the lightning bolt down the pants is a nice touch. But we're just going by the we're just going by the top. We're going by the jersey. It's boring. I, would I buy one? No. Would I buy a, like a, a Cavalier two thousand three two thousand four jersey? Absolutely, because those things are nice. No. This, Marty I'm Saint not, Louis. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like uh, this one, no, I would never get this one. Now, if we're talking about Mario Saint Louis Vanny Lecavier, obviously, but no, yes. this, this doesn't do it for me. So I have the Sharks at 21. Um, I get what you were saying, but like it's just you know, it's just teal, throw on a you know, on the elbow, call it a day. I kind of like the alternate, the alternate shark logo on the you know, on the shoulder. Now, if they had that as like their primary logo, that would be really nice because I think the alternate on the shoulder. It's so much better than the one that they have in the middle. But of course, the one in the middle is kind of like their brand. It's the snapping stick, the shark, you know, eating the stick and stuff. I get that. I don't mind these jerseys. I think they're really good. I think the teal works really great. The little the accent of orange works fine with the with the black and white. This is a team that uses a lot of their colors the right way. They're given a lot more accents and a lot more different designs, just like breaking it up a bit. And I think the I think the patches on the shoulders make this look a lot better in my opinion yeah i mean it's not a top 20 but it's a good middle of the pack this is a solid jersey they could still have room for improvement but like i said there's some things that yeah it's kind of eh, but there's some small details that kind of make it a little bit better in my opinion yeah well guys that's going to wrap it up for this episode we also have a honorable mention that we're going to talk about here in just one second uh, every each one of these three installments, we're going to have an honorable mention uh, towards the end. And then in our final episode, we're going to have an honorable mention right before our final three. So moving on to our honorable mention, we have the wonderful and beautiful Nordiques. This jersey is just a, sh- a chef's kiss to how great this thing is. Yeah, it's just all blue, but the Florida leaves on the shoulders and on the bottom of the jersey, iconic for this Nordiques team. It's just fantastic. And the logo too, with the igloo, with the stick. I mean, you can't beat these things. I know we talked a lot about, you know, a lot of teams are just one basic color and a few accents, but just the Florida Lees make this so much better in my opinion. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I love the logo, you know, granted you look at it, this is not a 2020 Jersey. If mm-hmm. you're basing it off of now, it's a little boring ish, but mm-hmm. the logo is unbeatable. Mm-hmm. The, patches unbeatable i mean and the colors just work well together it's it's hard to beat that it really is yeah it's yeah uh, it's just so unique with how the bottom of the jerseys they have the florida lees lie on the bottom of the jersey it's almost like when you make a design of the bottom of the jersey not just a basic stripe i think you're really working with something because we are going to talk about arizona and all that in a future episode but what they did with the florida lees in this placement fantastic job by the quebec nordiques one of the most iconic jerseys out there for sure. 100%. So that's it for this episode. Our next episode, you guys are going to just stay tuned. Um, it's going to be our rankings for number 20 through 11. And then we're going to, after that, we're going to hit the top 10. Um, other than that, Zach, it was cool, man. The, our 32 up through 21 got some solid choices, questionable on a couple of them. Yeah. But you know what? We have a lot more questionable things coming up so yeah we, we definitely we definitely have controversial picks coming up really soon yeah. it, a nice a nice solid you know it's kind of like a simmer of you know hot takes for yeah. our top you know 32 to 21 but it's gonna it's we're gonna we're gonna turn it up a little bit when we hit when we go through 20 through 11 so yeah it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time for sure and we might talk about some other jerseys and maybe some gold helmets i don't know anyways maybe <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned for next episode. And again, as always, thank you for joining in to the Cannons and Tomahawks podcast presented by Belly Up Sports, where it's always about beer, food, and hockey. 
Thank you for listening to the Cannons and Tomahawks podcast, presented by Belly Up Sports. Beer, food, and hockey.